Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. And that means right now. He didn't say one day you will be the light of the world or at some point in the future you'll be the light of the world. He didn't say you might be the light of the world or I would like you to be the light of the world. Nor did he say for that matter aspire to being the light of the world. In other words, you are the light of the world now, in this very place, in this time, in this moment. One short sentence, seven short words, one profound message. It means that even when our light is somewhat dim and is flickering, maybe more than we might like, even when that flame doesn't burn quite so brightly as we would hope, we are still being the light of the world. And in those moments which we all experience from time to time, when our inner light feels more like a tentative candle clinging on to life rather than a confident beacon, we remain the light of the world. The light is not something we will become at some point. It's not something we train for or qualify for or somehow reach. It's intrinsic. It's part of our identity, firstly, as being human beings, and secondly, as being followers of Christ. You are the light of the world. That means that there is nowhere we can be that God is not. There is nothing we can do that can fail to spread some of God's light into the world. If ever there was a message of hope, surely this is it. Jesus' words say to each and every one of us that as things stand in our lives and in our world at this particular moment, each and every one of us has the capacity to bring light and hope. Even in our hesitancy, even through adversary, even through lack of self-belief, doubt, questioning or uncertainty, we are light for the world. The world needs that light and the world needs each and every one of us. Today is the beginning of Christian Aid Week 2020. Christian Aid grew from an initiative of British and Irish churches 70 years ago. The charities, theology and values are firmly grounded in the need to bring light and hope to the world through offering aid and support to some of the world's most vulnerable people and communities. Today, the charity says of itself, Christian Aid works globally for profound change that eradicates the causes of poverty, striving to achieve equality, dignity and justice for all, regardless of faith, race or nationality. Today, we remember the invaluable work of Christian Aid and as we pray for the work of the charity across the world, we think of people everywhere who are being light and hope to their communities. Hear again Jesus' words to us. Don't let the impact and significance of the words be eclipsed or dulled by their familiarity. And in those words to you, hear just how important you are and how important your life is to God and to others. In the mystery and wonder of who you are and what you can do, you are already bringing light and hope to a world in need. Wherever there is a flicker of light, there will always be hope.